Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Raina Jinx and I am back with a new one for you guys. It is the new year. Happy new year guys. And um, yeah, this video, I'm just going to hop right into it because it's going to be, you know, just a chit chat video. Yeah, um, I already did this makeup look in a video that I tried to film. I'm actually refilming this video. <laughs> so I also have quite a few new products too. They're all new products that I've never filmed with filmed with before. So I'm going to show, be showing you all the new stuff that I got like over Christmas from gift cards and things like that. So um, one of these things is a new facial spray that I've actually been I've tried and I really love as you see it's down to the bottom in this bottle um, it's the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water yeah this spray I use um, before priming makeup I use it for setting makeup and I also use it for like as a pre moisturizer so I'll spray my face and then apply my moisturizer Yes, I love this stuff. It's so good. Um, I've actually used this primer before. This is the Milani Prime Light. And it's like an illuminating primer. Um, I like it because it blurs out the face quite a bit. It gives you a nice glow as well. But um, yeah, guys. Um, I don't know how your 2017 went. Mine was pretty normal. Like, I didn't have any significant... Um, things that happened in the year. Um, 2017 was just crazy for America as a country, as you all know. And I'm not very political, but I try to keep up, stay in the loop. <laughs> so I'm not lost when crap goes down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> pretty good at kind of staying in touch with what's going on in the state of our country and things like that because I feel like I live here and as depressing as it can be it's very important to stay informed just so you know what's going on and that you, you know when you try to argue with racists and other people <laughs> you don't sound in ignorant you you know can back yourself up and act like you know what you're talking about um so that's why it's very important to stay informed um i think that's something i improved on last year is um staying informed um i'm going to use fenty beauty foundation because i haven't literally like literally since this launch i haven't tried a new foundation when it comes to the base of my face I usually don't deviate um, too much, so whatever I find that works, I stick with. But yeah, I kind of want to get into what I plan on doing for 2018. Um, because I usually don't look forward to the new year too much because I feel like every year is the same and, you know... There's nothing special about a new year because you can change your way of thinking or create new goals for yourself at any time. But silently to myself, which is not so silent anymore since I'm doing this video, <laughs> um, I actually kind of made goals in my head for myself for the first time. I'm not big on resolutions and things like that. I don't think a year or the start of a new year should make you decide to change your way of thinking or um, force you to create new goals for yourself. I feel like you can do that at any time. But I did think about it this year and especially in regards to my YouTube channel here. Um, I just wanted to kick it up a notch because um, if you haven't noticed, uh, I haven't filmed in a while. And I took a huge break and that's, that's just because I was deciding in the first place whether or not I wanted to continue doing this. Do I want to do shorter videos because you can do videos and post pictures and I feel like doing all of that on Instagram would just make my life easier. 
Eventually though, I decided against it only because I knew that I would miss being able to make full out creative videos for YouTube uh, <laughs> to post a video. It can only be about a minute. Um, so I just didn't want to have those type of restrictions on myself. I wanted to be a little bit more free and YouTube does that for me. So yeah, I am going to continue making videos for YouTube since I have decided to continue. I need to become more serious about my videos. On my channel, I want it to be a little bit more authentic and not just create videos for the sake of creating videos. Um, everyone <laughs> keeps saying things like bring the old YouTube back and that's just because we all miss creating videos for the fun. Literally that's how YouTube started. It was just creating videos for the fun of it and it hasn't been fun anymore for a lot of people and a lot of people have fallen off of making videos for that reason. I'm talking a lot. I need to think about what I'm doing at this moment and as you can tell I have a new background set up <laughs> and that was that's really new. I just did that this past week and I planned on do it, doing that for a long time. I was super bored, <laughs> super duper bored with my old background. It was just a white, I was filming in front of a white wall and we have a separate little office room. This is actually my bedroom, but the office room is shaped like a rectangle <laughs> so I don't have a lot of room in there and plus we put a lot of storage in there I would have more room if we didn't store things in there but since we do we as in me and my boyfriend if you didn't know um, <laughs> um, I live with my boyfriend yeah we don't have a lot of space here so I'm filming in my bedroom instead now just because it's prettier don't you think <laughs> Um, and I just needed something more interesting going on in the back. Shameless Maya, she's a big inspiration of mine, and she was just talk. it was a tech talk, one of her tech talk videos, and she was, I think it's called how to film like a beauty vlog or something like that. Um, and she just talks about using what you have and making the best of it, since she is skilled and talented. She was able to work with what she had and find ways to create videos that looked really good with, you know, minimal equipment and software and things like that. She knew how to work it, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm learning, trying to learn <laughs> how to do. I intend on doing well this year and um, building my channel. It's been stagnant but for whatever reason the people never left so um even though that it's been stagnant like I haven't really lost too many people so that's a good thing so I'm gonna move on to the eyes I just put on my Urban Decay primer potion <laughs> Urban Decay primer potion on my eyes and I'm going to use the Dream Street palette by Kathleen Lights this was a collab with ColourPop, and this palette is beautiful. I think it was a holiday palette, I think. That's when it came out. But I recently got it um, earlier this month. No, <laughs> earlier in December. But I haven't used it much, so we're gonna create a really cute eye look with this. Um, I'm going to use, I don't know the names, so I'm probably just gonna put them down below. Um, but I want to do a halo eye. I'm going to start with this shade here. It's like a seafoam green type shade. It's really pigmented too, by the way. You see that? I went straight in for this and I didn't even place... I usually do my transition shade first. I didn't even do that. So I'm going to do that now. <laughs> it's kind of hard to talk in... Um, do like complicated makeup looks 
but we're gonna keep trying here. Um, for a transition shade, I see this burnt brown shade, like a burnt orangey brown. So that's always a safe bet. We're gonna use that color. <laughs> and this is the Morphe E13 brush. I love this brush. So yeah, um, I would say getting back into my goals for 2018. I just really want to save more money and I feel like because I am trying to do so much for my YouTube channel which includes like buying makeup products, buying hair products, and buying clothes for fashion videos and things like that, I need to chill out because <laughs> I don't have it all like that. Like I'm not struggling like you know I can I'm living within my means and I'm not struggling and I'm still saving money but I really want to save a lot more money and I think that's just because I'm getting older it's just necessary it's a necessary part of getting older um, so I this year I just want to be better and be better at saving money and be better about planning out how I want to spend my money which will be hard for me because I I like to shop I'm sorry <laughs> I like to shop all right so my camera overheated so I had to wait for a little bit so I'm back now <laughs> I think for the middle of the halo eye I'm going to start with this color it's called mermaid boy this is look at this freaking pigmentation uh, I love ColourPop and I use a good majority of their products because you just can't beat the price you can't for the payoff that you get you can't beat it like I don't need to be in Sephora every day speaking of oh my gosh <laughs> so speaking of Sephora I hit Rogue at Sephora. Yeah, so most people when they hit Rogue at Sephora, they're excited because, you know, it's very exciting. You get some perks. They're not, they're good. They're not great or anything. They're good. I'm also going to put this color Kaleidoscope on top of Mermaid Boy. And I did this the last time I did this look. Oh my gosh. It's about to pop, guys. It's about to pop. Look at this. yes 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 so i was actually pretty upset <laughs> that i hit rogue and that's because if you knew if you shop at sephora i'm getting a little bit crazy with this color um if you shop at sephora you know the requirement that is needed to hit rogue and it's a certain amount of money that you have to spend there and I was actually pretty upset that I spent that much in a year at Sephora on my face. I'm going to highlight with the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour waterproof concealer and this is in the color medium dark. I ended up falling in love with this one mainly because of the color but I saw that NARS actually came out with a similar color. Uh, the creamy radiant concealer actually I forgot the name of the color I was using but it was a color that was slightly deeper than this not as bright so when I went to Sephora and tried to get my NARS concealer they were out of the color that I usually used at the time so I decided to try this one and ended up falling in love with it and as usual I'm going to <laughs> contour with the Fenty Beauty. This is the Match Sticks and this is the color Espresso. Let me not let this dry out too much. Jeez. I do plan on moving soon. We just want a bigger, a little bit bigger place and better landlords. <laughs> um, not that they're horrible but you know um, just a little bit more attentive um, when we need things done. <laughs> I'm 
trying to be politically correct here, they're not going to see this. And we have the idea that uh, the landlords that we do have at the moment, they manage a lot of properties and it's that's probably the reason why they're not as attentive as we would like them to be, but they can kind of have that and we're kind of just going to go. <laughs> we're trying to anyway. Um, we just don't, we live in the Boston, greater Boston area. It's hard out here. <laughs> Finding an apartment for a price range you're willing to spend for what they give you because prices out here are ridiculous. Going to set my highlight with my Sasha Buttercup powder. This is a new buy by the way. I was sleeping hard on this. Sleeping so hard and because I already had the Laura Mercier I'm like I don't want to buy another setting powder but <laughs> I broke down and bought it because I was tired because my Laura Mercier it's the the deep one and I was tired of it not looking bright enough under my eyes so that's why I got this but I'm going to set with this first and with the Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier on top because this is really bright and I like it bright but not blinding <laughs> so um, I'll do this one first for the brightness yeah so no, let me do the bronzer I have color pop bronzer and I think the color is called rodeo it's um a little bit warm it doesn't bother me too much though I wish they had one that like a bronzer that you know you had the option of it not being warm because all of your bronzers are warm these are their powdered um, bronzers by the way let me just contour quick use my NYX matte bronzer to set that because the ColourPop is so warm when I use it to contour my nose it looks really muddy and just ugh. so I'm using the matte bronzer by NYX which is a little bit more toned down and cool tone so we're gonna go back to the eyes and finish them off and I'm going back to the Dream Street palette so I'm gonna go back to this um, this matte blue green color and shade under the eye so the camera overheated again <laughs> so I'm gonna try and get through the rest of this we're almost there <laughs> um, yeah so I'm going to do an inner corner highlight we're gonna do the safe bet so I'm gonna go back to kaleidoscope you know what I'm gonna put on lashes but I, I need to do this part off camera because it's just going to be tragic trying to do this on camera <laughs> um, but I just want to show you what I'm gonna put on and it's your lash bar the mimosa lashes that took forever <laughs> and I took them off reapplied like three times on each side I swear um, so yeah <laughs> but aren't they really pretty though I love these lashes I forgot the name of this, but I'll put it down below. It's just a nice natural color. So I'm just going to move on to lips. This is the ColourPop liner, and this is bonus points. They don't have this color anymore, which is sad because it's like my perfect liner, everyday liner. I don't know why I had this in my head though. This would match. This is the, <laughs> the Fenty gloss. This is Gal on the Moon. I thought it was going to match. Um, I'm not too sure of that anymore, but we're still going to put it on. <laughs> this might be team too much. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not bad together. We're going to proceed. Um... I'm going to put on some highlighter. The Super Shock Cheek Highlighter by ColourPop. This is the color Churro. 
you can use a brush with these, but I find that the Beauty Blender kind of applies it more seamlessly. It's not streaky at all with the Beauty Blender. That's why I like it. With the brush, you'll see streaks sometimes. So, And we are done. I'm just going to spray my face with the Mario Badescu again. Oh, I love spraying my face because it just melts everything together like it brings your makeup to life literally comment down below if my lips match my eyes they don't <laughs> it's okay because makeup you can do anything you can do what your heart desires so that's it guys thanks for sticking it out with me and listening to my little chit chat for my goals for the new year you guys should definitely subscribe if you haven't already like what are you doing I'm coming back guys, I'm coming back. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe down below so that you can see all my new uploads because I will be having new uploads. And um, like this video if you liked it, if you like this look, if you liked the little chit chat. And um, yeah, definitely comment down below your thoughts, goals for 2018 if you're a fellow YouTuber. I would like to hear your goals for your channels as well because I'm just interested and I like to pull inspiration from everywhere. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. There's a fly in the system. I don't really know why, but I miss him. There was something in his eyes when I kissed him. Listen, feeling like I can't this, can't this. The beat takes